Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, I wanted to show you guys something I've been working on for the last couple months. Uh, last year, I was really getting sick of dealing with frozen water with quail. I ended up cutting way back um, out here on this shed area on how many we were doing. Because I was just sick of dealing with frozen water through winter time with the quail, it just drove me nuts. And I decided this year that I was going to figure out a way that I could uh, make sure these birds had clear, fresh water um, all winter long, even in the coldest temperatures. And it's been getting down to, I mean, it gets below freezing every, every night and a lot of the times through the day. And it has been that way for the last month or so. Um, so I've been developing alongside uh, with a good friend of mine a system to keep fresh uh, unfrozen water uh, through winter time. So I'm going to turn this camera around here and I want to show you kind of the prototype of uh, what we've built. Okay so here's the system. Basically what it is is we have a reservoir down here and inside we have a heating element and a submersible pump, submersible water pump. And it pumps water up here into these head units into these heads through this head down the next one and back into the bucket um, so it's basically circulating heated water the whole time um, and we're using these horizontal nipples um, for them to get water and they got trained to those pretty pretty quickly oh these are my new birds by the way that I got from uh, my Shire farm Zach over there is really awesome he has really good genetics I like to get his stuff in here to get in with my flock I really like his birds this is the his part of his Schofield silver line these are really cool birds but anyways um this thing has been working really well um, i've only ever had one problem and it's when i let it get too low if you let this get too low um, and it starts pumping air then this will continue to pump water up here um, but then it'll start freezing inside the first head and the whole system freezes and you got to thaw it out so as long as you keep water in here it's it's good um but we've been having really good success with this. I mean, we just got stuff from Home Depot to do it. Uh, nothing really fancy. I mean, we got pretty much everything there between there and a, a pet store. We got everything we needed. Um, but yeah, that's been working really well for us. Yeah, using it right there. Um, but yeah, this is just a prototype. We're actually going to be uh, trying to get something a little more for a finalized product done. Uh, to where we can actually get these out there and you guys can buy a system, but I mean it's not really hard I mean like I said all this stuff we got uh, from Home Depot and a pet store, so it's not really hard to source it So the fittings aren't glued together or anything they're just pressed together um, It's not super high pressure or anything uh, It doesn't need to be because it doesn't need pressure. It just needs flow um, There's a few things we had to tweak and uh, work out with it to make it work, right? Um but we're trying to get something to where we can get the full system as basic as possible, eliminate as much uh, unnecessary parts as possible, um, and get a product out on the market for you guys. Um, it can be used year-round as well. Um, I mean, you can turn the heater off and they still have fresh water. You don't have to have the heater going, but we'll have it as a system for fresh water or for heated. But like I said, I mean, it's pretty basic, simple stuff. If you want to build it yourself, it's pretty easy to do. Like we're still working out the kinks of, you know, if you do it that way, how to, uh, how to do it and make it work properly. We've got, tried several different sizes of things and different parts and pieces, and we're still getting some of the details figured out, but this has worked really well. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, I think this is going to be a big game changer for being able to keep quail through the winter. I know that's, for me, for any animal really, it's a huge pain in the butt in the winter time uh, dealing with frozen water. Um, so yeah, I want to show you guys that real quick and kind of give you an idea of maybe what you can start working on and looking forward in the future too. We'll start producing it here. Hopefully the next few months have it out and available, but like I said, that gives you a good idea of what's there and you can use um, if you want to run down to the hardware store or to Lowe's or wherever and get what you need. That's actually where we went as Lowe's. I prefer Lowe's over Home Depot. Um, we actually did get all that stuff from Lowe's that we needed. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about it or anything, you can message me down in the video, 
comments or send me an email, uh, theurbanaviary at gmail.com. And until that next video, remember, you guys can do this too.